Hey guys, how are you? I hope that you are enjoying celebrating Literacy Week this week at your school. I asked your teacher if I could possibly read a story to you since it is Literacy Week. And the easiest way for me to do that was to um, record it and then let you guys watch it in your classroom. So I am at another school today and I went into the library and I found a book that I'm gonna read to you guys. And the reason that I chose this book is because I loved the vocabulary that the author used in the story. There were a lot of places in the book that um, the author could have used different words, more basic words, but he chose to use good, um, good vocabulary words and I liked that. So that's the reason that I chose the book that I did. Um, I know most of you in the classroom, so to those of you that I do know, hello, I hope everything's going well. And to those of you who I do not know, maybe you are new to West Epheniac this year, or um, maybe you just don't recognize me. I am Ms. Conyers and I taught a lot of your classmates in first grade. And then I'm also Callie Ann's mom. So, um, hey Callie Ann, I hope you're having a good day and um, the same for the rest of you in the class. So, here we go. The book that I'm gonna be reading to you guys is called On Meadowview Street. And before I start reading, I would like to let you know that it is an AR book and it's a second grade level book. So after I read it, if your teacher is okay with you AR testing on it, I am perfectly fine with that as well. Your teacher can help you get the AR code for the number. All right, On Meadowview Street. It was a big day. Caroline and her family were moving into their new house on Meadowview Street. After things were unpacked, Caroline's dad decided the grass was too tall and got busy mowing the lawn. Caroline was about to explore the new street to see if there was a meadow on Meadowview Street when she noticed a small blossom. It's beautiful, Caroline said to herself, and all alone. The mower was getting close. Caroline thought, I'd better do something quick. The mower came to a halt. Daddy, Caroline pleaded, couldn't you mow around my flower? Hmm, he said thinking, well, that is less mowing for me. Caroline raced inside the house. She, she poked around the boxes in the basement. Aha, she, she smiled, some string and some sticks, just what I need. Before long, Caroline had made a small wildflower preserve. Then she noticed another flower had bloomed nearby. One of the words I loved on that page was preserve. Her preserve got bigger and bigger and bigger. That butterfly seems to like my little garden, Caroline thought happily. As the grass grew taller, more flowers popped up all over the yard. Soon there were different kinds, in different colors, everywhere. Caroline's dad had a great idea for the mower. On this page, to know what his great idea is, you have to use the illustration. One day, Caroline sat in her preserve in the heat of the sun. My garden needs a shady spot, she said to her parents. A shady spot sounds nice, replied Caroline's mom. Soon a truck made a delivery. Caroline's mom took pictures. Welcome to your new home, said Caroline to the maple tree. Instead of just saying tree, the author told you what kind of tree it was, a maple tree. The next day, as Caroline admired the maple tree, a wren landed on the end of her shovel. Oh, you're looking for a home too, said Caroline. Looking at the end of the shovel, you can see the wren 
And again, I love that the author used wren instead of just bird. I hope that you will do that when you're writing too. Caroline and her dad got to work. They found some plans for building birdhouses. Caroline helped cut the wood and nail the pieces together. Perfect, thought Caroline. So did the wren. In no time, there were birds and insects everywhere around the tree and zipping among the flowers. Soon, the wren house was full of twigs for a nest. Caroline wanted one more thing. We need a place where everyone can drink, can drink, uh, get a drink of water, she said. The next day, she and her dad began building a pond. They dug a large, shallow hole and lined it with a heavy plastic sheet. Did you hear all of those describing words there? Caroline added plants that like living in water. She lugged large rocks to the edge, making ledges and little caverns for creatures to live in. The more Caroline and her family worked on their yard, the more it changed. It was now a home to many things. And soon the Jackson's yard changed and the Smith's and the Soto's. Now, there really was a meadow on Meadowview Street. On these pages, we see lots of nice names for different creatures and items throughout the book. I'll name some of those here in just a minute. I see a ladybird beetle, a salamander, monarch caterpillars on milkweed leaves, a mud turtle, a black-eyed Susan, which is a flower, a meadow mouse, brown bat, small copper butterfly on bee balm. Do you see how descriptive all of those are? And a home for everyone. Going back to the page before, it said, now there really was a meadow on Meadowview Street and a home for everyone. The end. So there were a lot of things I loved about this. Like I said before, one of the things that I loved was all of the rich vocabulary words that you heard in the story. I love how the author did that. And as young writers, I hope that when you're writing, you will use good, strong vocabulary words in your writing as well. And then I also loved that this little girl, Caroline, she started working on a project with her dad and it grew to be bigger and bigger and bigger. And then before long, she was impacting her entire neighborhood. They were all wanting to do what she was doing. So I hope that you think about that as you make choices at school and at home, that you will do things that are good, um, that may impact other people and encourage them to do good things as well. So I hope you guys all have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the story. And if you want to take an AR test on it, please do that. See you soon.